Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey, if you're new, yes, I look crazy. <laughs> let's just, let's just, let's just address that. So if you've seen by the title of this video, it is literally, I mean, it's nothing kind of special and revolutionary. I just figured that I would show how I do my hair and how I manage to do all of my length of hair with one bottle of Arctic Fox. The eight fluid ounce bottle is enough to do my entire head. Sometimes I go a little bit overboard and I go extra, but if I don't have extra, then obviously I need to know how to be able to do it with the one bottle. And it can be a little bit of a challenge with really long hair. I don't do my blonde anymore myself, purely because it's a task and I like to get it done with like nice professional products so that it's not damaging my hair as much. I mean, obviously it's gonna damage it a little bit, but it's so it's not as damaged. Uh, so I figured I would just kind of show you how I do it. So I've been to the hairdressers. I have been to my lovely hairdresser and she has done my blonde for me. As you can see, it's actually a new bleach that she's got. So it's not as strong as the last one. It's got the bonder and that in it. Um, so that it doesn't damage your hair as much, but really that is all I need. So it is, there's a couple of little bits. Um, but for the most part, it is an even colour sort of thing. And every single bit of my head is done. Like, there are no massive big dark patches. Like, when I do it, I miss, like, bits at the back of my head and stuff like that. And obviously, the join is nice. So that is sort of like that out of the way and done. If you're using any sort of direct dye like that doesn't come with one of those squirty bottle type things I would say get yourself one of these. You need a brush and you need a bowl um, just so that you can get it onto your roots. So I'm going to show you like a normal speed although at this point am I the only person that watches every video on YouTube on at least 1.25 or faster. Like, see when I put it back to normal speed, the speed that people talk at is like so slow. I don't know why, I just, I seem to, I do it with every video, every single video that I watch. I watch my own videos on two times speed when I'm doing like adding the um, cards in the top left hand corner um, so that I can get through it and I know where to add them. And I watch other people's depending on how fast they speak and how easy it is to understand them, I will watch it on like 1.25 to 1.5 speed. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't know, I just, I don't think I could sit and watch YouTube at normal speed anymore. So this is a new bottle. I'm just gonna dump out as much of that will, as much as will come out. That we haven't, I like set it upside down and let it sort of work its way out. The one thing I would say is I wish Arctic Fox would like change the design of their bottles because I feel like you don't get as much out as you could and I have like a full bowl here and I literally will just take my part it doesn't have to be perfect and I'll paint it on to the blonde if like having your hair wafting about annoys you you can tie one side back then what I'll do is I'll take the back end of my brush take my section flip it over and paint the other side so you're getting both sides of coverage because what I would normally do is like paint it on here but because we're trying to make it you know stretch I'll run a comb through it smooth it out and I paint a little bit on that smooth it with my hands and then comb it through now it might not have enough on it yet, but it is coated. Don't worry, we do make sure at the end that it has enough on it. So that's over like that. So I didn't have to like paint a massive amount on it, but it's a thin enough section that it should have grabbed most of it. Go on to the next section, do the same thing. I'm going to make sure that I go to the back of my head and get this section here. This is sort of like guesswork because 
you can't really see what you're doing I just get somebody to check for me and make sure that I haven't missed any bits and I just carry on like that I'm gonna probably speed this up but that's how I do it so I'll do the front paint it on paint it on do the front section then the back section I will do it all the way down until I get to the bottom and then I'll go over to the other side and do the other side I don't like section off the back because it's hard for me anyway I just what I'll do is I'll part it in the middle make sure I get the middle section and then work my way down so yeah I will be back Okay, so we have completely done one side and I'm going to do the other side off camera just to save camera battery because for some reason this battery isn't fully charged even though it was on the charger. So basically when I get to the bottom I take the bottom section because I like to like make sure it's sort of right in about the nape of my neck and I've got lots of baby hairs and things like that so this stuff does wash off really nice and easily though so if you get it all over your face and that it's fine. So I kind of massage it in at the back of my neck, things like that. Make sure that I get this section really saturated, pull it between like sort of pushing my fingers, getting it in between my fingers and stuff like that and really doing that and combing it through and stuff. And then when I'm happy with it, what I will do is I will start to sort of tease down some sections that I've already done and just do exactly the same. So pull the product that's sitting at my roots down through, I mean we did it a little bit when we were doing it but this is you really getting it. It's just sometimes hard to turn and differentiate the sections but to get that and get it, really get your fingers in between it because there's anything left on your gloves is going to pull through the hair as well. You can check and just make sure that it's nicely saturated, kind of put it all together, work it in because it's like conditioner based. It's dead easy to work into your hair. It's just like that. And I just go back through. I did put some through my hair, but I didn't waste product, like really putting it through because there's plenty there. Get some more. Another section. And I just work my way back, pulling it through like that. And I'll do this sort of at the end again as well, you know, and get the back of my head and really sort of scrub it in, just like a conditioner. Is one side done? So, we're going to do the same with this side and then I'll be right back. I'll show you how I put it up just to kind of go about the rest of my day. I'll show you how much I've got left. That is how much I have left. So, probably about half and I still haven't taken the dregs out of the bottle yet and I mean I have long hair it comes down past my boobs <laughs> um, it's not exactly thin either it's thick hair so if I can do that with a half a bottle I'm sure you can too okay so I will be back okay I'm back I'm done and I have that much left I did think I was running out, but literally what's left, I just sort of, oh, <laughs> got it everywhere, and I just 
everywhere is saturated anyway. I just kind of plop it in. Then I will flip my head upside down. And where did my bubble go? There we go. And I have like a dark blue scrunchie which I'll just plop it on top of my head with. Just like that. And then I will go in and just make sure. See how it sort of goes white? It's like the conditioner consistency. Round and make sure that all of the back of my head is done. Like I say, it doesn't really matter if you get it on your face because it doesn't really stain. I'll say that and then I'll come back and I'll be all stained. I smooth it all in, make sure it's all stuck up nice. And I will literally get a carrier bag and tie it onto my head. I'll put it over my head and I will tie it in the back. And then it's protected, I won't get it all over anything. I just kind of like work it in like that. Anything that is left, I'll go down and make sure that I've got all my baby hairs. Sometimes I forget to do this part and I'll be left with like a little blonde hue, like a wee halo around my forehead. Okay, so when I wash it off, I basically, I probably go in the shower today because I need to do other stuff anyway but normally I would just throw my head in the shower and I don't do anything I just rinse it until it rinses clear because it is conditioner anyway um, when I did my um, or when they did my bleach they shampooed it anyway so my head is clean this is the conditioner part it's kind of like putting in a deep conditioner so then I just rinse this out and rinse it 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 and then obviously I'll shampoo it the next time I wash my hair and it always ends up you'll get the most vibrant colour and it'll last longer as well so once I've done that I'll come back and I'll show you basically just the after this is we've seen the before this is the during and then I'll show you the after and yeah that's pretty much it so I will see you guys in a second Ooh, I look washed out okay we have wet hair. I don't know why it always looks more red on camera. Fully coloured hair and then we will have dry. <laughs> okay, mostly dry. I just diffused it and kind of mostly dried it off. There's a little bit of moisture still left in it but this is the end result. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit. Oh, I just don't want to put too much heat on it because it's obviously been through a lot with bleach and stuff like that, obviously it's just at the roots, but I'm just trying not to use as much heat on my hair in general. So this obviously is what it's looking like just now, I really hope it is coming up the proper colour. It is like a really violet purple, that's kind of all I can say. Um, I do love the colour of it and it fades out really nicely to that sort of pink that you saw at the beginning. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I do my hair now and say that I still love Arctic Fox. I still love the way it smells. I still use Violet Dream. I don't know if that's now darker. Not the colour but like the bottle. I thought the bottle was lighter than that but anyway. It is still Violet Dream. I use just Violet Dream and it is just one bottle that I use. There's actually a little tiny bit left in this. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My battery's going to die so I'm going to go but thank you so much for watching. Obviously if you enjoyed this video I would love if you would get a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you get any more recommendations on hair stuff to do, um, let me know. But yeah, this is like a crazy mane. So hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!